It is Thursday, April 14th. I, uh, somebody told me to come to Cleveland to do DoorDash and Uber Eats, that it was pretty good here. and it, So I did it for the first time tonight. It's a Thursday, so it's not... Uh, it was pretty busy, actually, but then I got hungry and decided to eat. So I only did four or five deliveries, but it worked out well. And I think I'm going to stay here the weekend and... Uh, do some deliveries Saturday and Sunday. That's the best time to do it. You can make the most money. It's busiest. I'm in a Walmart parking lot tonight. Uh, there's not much like free campsites in the woods around here that I could find on uh, freecampsites.net. So I'm just going to stay at Walmart. Tomorrow we'll find some place to go hiking and kind of hang out for the day and do a few de deliveries tomorrow night. Bill and I went into Walmart today and I was trying to make the bed a little more comfortable. I picked up a camping pad, which is like a cheap $14 one. Kind of like looks like an exercise mat. I'm hoping that little bit of extra padding will help. I also think that table that slides out the back, maybe it's a little too long. I think that's hitting me in the wrong spot. Well, it's getting late. It's like 10, 15 or something. So I'm gonna head to bed. Good night. Are you really that cold? Or maybe you were just a tad dramatic. Oh, you're okay. The heat's blowing right on you. I had to wash your face. You get it dirty. You're okay. Woke up this morning to the low tire pressure light on the dashboard. So I figured out it was a front passenger tire. It's actually snow tires on the front. I tried to put air in it, but it wasn't really even holding it for a few minutes. So I was at Walmart. I looked up and saw this. So this place across the street. So that's convenient. So I'm over here now waiting. They said it's about an hour and a half wait. So I'm waiting in the car for them to take the car in. And I must have just picked up a nail or something because the tire's in good shape otherwise. Okay. So that answers the question I asked this morning. What do you want to do today, Bella? This is it, at least for now. Then we're going to hopefully go find some type of trailhead we can just hang out in and go hiking. And then tonight, come back and do some deliveries. I'm still in Cleveland, Tennessee. Over there, Bella. What a beautiful place. So nice out. It's like 76. It's sunny. Actually, time for shorts. This would be a great place for the bikes. We did bring them, but they're in Doug's truck. Which is not here, with me anyway. I don't know if Doug's gonna have time to really come out and explore it all with me. He has to be back in Mass by May 6th, so it just depends how much he gets done. So it's a bunch of these paved trails and wide open space. It's really nice. But every so often you see these little side trails, so I think I'll take this one. Wow, that'd be so fun to kayak. Oh, 
Although I don't know if we could go upstream. So beautiful. Just so interesting to see these different places. Oh, this side trail ends in somebody's property. Bella is tired from her walk. This is my favorite thing to do, just to kind of hang out in the car like this in a beautiful place. In beautiful weather. With my beautiful little dog. Bella. Close up. It's five o'clock now, Friday night. So I'm back amongst all the restaurants and stores and everything. So I've got the Uber app on and DoorDash won't let me put it on now, but just schedule for later. So I'm scheduled like at seven o'clock. So, but that may change. I keep checking it and I may just be able to hit dash now and it'll let me do it. I decided to try something new. I made a list of course of things I needed to bring in just to wash up. Walmart has a family restroom, so I decided to figure out what, what's the minimum I could bring in so I could wash up, you know, and be inconspicuous. So I did that and I went inside Walmart after I took Bella and got her all settled. And I went into the back as a family restroom and got all washed up and everything. And I feel so much better than just uh, doing a quick one in the car. You know, having running water and everything is, was nice. So, and right in the line of cars pulling by. So uh, that's uh, definitely something I could include. I had to leave Bella alone for like, it took me about 15 minutes. She gets kind of panicky, so I'm not crazy about that. It was a great day at Fletcher Park, just relaxing. And I love being able to just open up the hatch and uh, just lay back there and everything. We had a great walk, it's a really nice park. Definitely go there again. But tomorrow it's supposed to rain, at least in the morning, so I'm not sure. I'm going to try to do deliveries uh, for two or three of the meals anyway, tomorrow. I uh, did some deliveries tonight for a few hours. Made about 65 bucks, not too bad. This is a very busy area as far as there's tons of different restaurants, fast food and otherwise. Uh, more than I've ever seen anywhere, so yet it's not a city, so it's easy driving. One one delivery was, uh, I think, 20 or so minutes away, but it was good money and it was alcohol, so it was worth the drive, even though I had to drive back, you know, 20 minutes to, this, to the restaurant. I think we're gonna sleep again here at Walmart, even though it's kind of busy here. Let me turn the camera around and show you. It's hard to see because it's above us, but this place is hopping. And it closes at 11 so it is so busy in there and there's other stores too so it's just a lot of traffic back and forth so last night I decided to not leave the car on uh, overnight I just didn't want to do that again so it got a little bit cold at 4 o'clock I had a headache and I had to go pee so I had to drive over there and go pee outside because Walmart's closed and I forgot to, um, well, I didn't think I'd need the bedpan or anything. So today, I'll show you. Today I have the bedpan and a paper towel and a container. So I think if I have to pee early morning, I will try that. I'm not sure. I've used a container before. I've never used a bedpan. Uh, so I'll have to see. I'm not sure if I should use it in the back or come up front and what's going to be easier. But if I use the bedpan, then I have to dump it in something, unless I can just open the door and dump it, but that just depends where you are. So, I'm not sure, but it's a pain having to wake up and even come in the front seat is kind of a pain, but it's better than, uh, like last night I had to drive some, you know, just down a different parking lot to go pee outside and half asleep. Honestly, with my, my knees aren't quite up to par that having to squat like you do when you pee outside 
having that really deep knee bend is kind of painful and it's really hard for me to get up again. There's a quick funny story. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Belle and I had to pee, so we stopped at this trailhead uh, while we were doing deliveries and just walked, it was almost dark, so we walked down the path just a little bit to go pee. And I knew that I have trouble getting up because of my knees, so I, you know, squatted near a uh, stump so I could pull myself back up. So I went to pull myself back up, and apparently the stump was totally rotten. It just went flying off. I went flying back, ass over tea kettle, you know, with my pants down, landing in the leaves and sticks and everything. I had a little cut on my butt. Ugh. So that didn't go over well. So I have to make sure that I'm going to use something to pull myself up. It's got to be pretty sturdy. <laughs> Not a rotten stump. All right, well, good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good morning. So we slept okay last night. Uh, the bed was pretty comfortable with that camping pad that I added. But it's just very loud here at Walmart and the highway's right there. So I think tonight... I will, uh, after I get all ready, I'll just go to Cracker Barrel. I hear in the, in the reviews that that's a lot quieter. I've had a few pickups at this Cracker Barrel. This is the one that you can sleep at. This is a nice spot. I'm gonna sleep here tonight, be nice and quiet. We just did some deliveries this morning, did pretty well. So we came back to the same Fletcher Park. Now. Look how high the river is. I should call this Muddy River. It's so brown. I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I've never seen it before, but it looks pretty high to me. It looks higher than it was yesterday, actually. Looks like this definitely got flooded once. That's what I have to deal with when she sees a dog. Easy killer. Bella. Bella. Oh, Bella, Bella, come on. Come on. You, you, you scared him away. Bella. I mean, they're way over there now. <laughs> Still barking. It's Saturday night, and I am at Cracker Barrel. I can't believe I stayed at Walmart those past two nights. It was so loud there, and I could have just come here. I mean, it's, it's a nice grassy area to take Bell in the morning, and yet they allow overnight parking. I think I was staying at Walmart because I could have the bathroom to use up until 11 p.m. and I think they opened at 6 a.m. But, oh, I forgot to tell you, last night I tried the bedpan and it worked great, much better than the container. So I'll show you that another time, but uh, now I can just easily climb in the front seat and use the bedpan and I don't have to find a bathroom, so I like that idea. I have been, last couple nights I've been just going outside like an animal, out in the back of Staples. <laughs> I think there was some homeless person living down the, down the hill because I kept seeing some bags at the top of the hill, different bags, like backpacks and like shopping bags, and then they'd be different every day. Last couple days, they were different. So... So now instead of going outside like an animal, I'm going to go in the car like, I don't know, is that better? I don't care. Good night. So I've been in Cleveland, Tennessee, did well with the DoorDash all weekend, 
It is Sunday, 5.15 p.m. I got a text from my sister-in-law and my brother and his two kids. They are vacationing in North Carolina in the Outer Banks this week and they asked me to come visit. Now it's like a 10 hour drive, but I'm gonna do it. So I thought, since I'm pretty much going by Murphy, North Carolina, I'll stop for the night tonight, take a shower and do laundry and stuff, sleep at, uh, you know, where Doug is at his brother's house tonight in Murphy, North Carolina, and head out tomorrow or the next day. We'll just have to see. But I'll probably stop along the way and do different things. So it might take two or three days to get out there. So I've always wanted to go to the Outer Banks, so this is actually a perfect opportunity. So I love how things work out. So that'll probably be the next video. So this will end this video, and uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.